Well, hello. Um, welcome to a new video. It's the afternoon right now. I had two sitter sessions in the studio today. And now I'm at home and I'm going to craft with the kids. And I'm going to try and create like a um, number one out of cardboard and then fill it with flowers so I can use it uh, during a cake smith session for the portrait photos. Mine. This is mine. Like it's floral, it's pretty, it's for the girls. Um, I'm still looking for something for the boys as well, like something similar, but this will be mainly for the girls. So I went to a store called Action. I bought some fake flowers and some of that green stuff where you can press your finger in but you shouldn't but it's to stick flowers in so now I have some cardboard and I'm gonna draw the number one on it just trying to see what kind of number one I like and I found this piece of cardboard I think it was from a puzzle or something So now that I've cut the main shape and I've left the, some of the corners on because I want to have corners all around it, I'm just going to add some extra corners and then use a lot of tape so it's a very secure number one. It's small but the babies are small so you don't want it to be too big. And then I'm going to continue with the next step. Now I'm just going to add the borders. So I still have some of the cardboard left which I'm going to use. Just make sure it's all same height and it's nice because <laughs> oh <laughs> I can a photo oh, that's an a. I can just make it more secure I can just use this whole part shove it underneath and then you have the side as well I feel so smart right now and then here the same I can just make sure that it is the size of the number one Ja, yeah, mama gaat een nummer 1 maken. En dan ga ik er straks mooie bloemen in doen. Dat wordt een mooie nummer 1. Mooi hè? Ik kan, ik kan er wel kijken. Ja, je kan wel kijken. Ik wil dat ze op weer kijken naar het beeld. Want het is gewoon net weer veel Mhm. So yeah, I'm not gonna have enough to cover the whole thing, but what I have, I'm using. So I already have most of the border, and then with some other cardboard, I can just add the extra edge because the edges don't really matter. I'm just gonna get some tape, and I'm gonna tape it on. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I had to look for a few minutes, but I found it. This tape, so I'm gonna use this tape. So I actually saw the idea from another mom who came for a cake smith session of her daughter and she brought this floral letter like the V because it was the first it's the first letter of her daughter's name. Uh, so and she told me she made it herself from cardboard that she just I don't know drew a V on some cardboard and then made like an edge of cardboard and then filled it with this green stuff that you used to put flowers in and then she just bought several artificial flowers and just stuck them in so it's gonna be in her daughter's room which I think is super pretty and we used it during the portrait photos of the cake smith session only during the portrait photos because um, otherwise it would probably get dirty because then 
you know, she would be eating cake and then maybe um, touch the letter with all the fake flowers and then there would be cake on there and it's quite hard to clean because you have to clean all the flowers individually pretty much. Um, so we didn't use it during the cake part, only during the portrait photos, but yeah, just make sure you put a lot of uh, tape here in the edges especially so it's nice and secure. I'm just going to add a little bit more tape around the edges so that it doesn't come off hopefully and then um, it's nice and secure. So yes, the kids they love to do crafts and they love it when I join. So this is a win-win situation because I uh, need this prop, well I want this prop for the studio and we're crafting all together, so that's nice. So I didn't have quite enough cardboard from the original puzzle box. So yeah, this is the inside, but then it would be brown instead of white and I don't know how much it's gonna show. So I just folded it double and now I can just place it here and then tape it secure. And then I have my complete number one from cardboard. So here we go. I have these blocks. I'm controlling myself, not pressing my fingers in. And I'm gonna try and cut it and then place it in my number one. I don't know if that's the way to do it, but um, yeah, as you can see, it's way too thick right now. So I have to like cut it in half. I'm trying to go straight, straight as possible. So now I just have to fill it up with this stuff. So here you got my number one filled with the green funky stuff and now it's just time to put some flowers in. I only have some roses here so I'm just gonna stick them in and then later buy some smaller flowers maybe just to fill it up and have some variety in here. But this is your base, this is it. I like it. So I put some glue around the edges just to make sure that it stays inside. I think if I'm gonna do another one I'll put some glue on the cardboard before I put the green stuff in. Um, yeah, because my daughter wants her letter M, her, her name starts with the letter M, in her room as well with flowers. So we're gonna probably repeat this project at least one more time for her. This is what I have for now. And I think it's prettier with different types of flowers. So I have to run to the store, I think tomorrow, and get some other flowers, and then I can always rearrange them. I'm just getting a few more flowers for today. I'm gonna set up for my newborn session in a second. And then after the newborn session, I have the Kicksmith session in which I'm gonna use my floral number one. I'm gonna rearrange these ones. So I'm just gonna make sure they're a little bit more divided. I'm gonna put the brighter colored ones on the edges. So it really outlines the number one against the light background. So you'll see in all corners, there's like a darker flower. Here we go, it's actually staying up by itself. That's cool, does it look like a number one? Kind of, if you, if you, if you use your imagination. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place this one in the decor, my beautiful number one, uh, and then see how close I'm gonna have it to the child so that it's not ruined. It kind of looks like a number one. I like it, it's very pretty. Uh, 
um, in the example images that the mom sent me that she liked, I also saw these little Christmas lights. So I have some, these are LED lights, they just go on batteries. Um, I think, just gonna drape them around the TV tent. Oh, my beautiful one. And then some little lights, just a tiny bit. lovely in the photos so easy to make here you see the back side again here you see the front I'm definitely gonna use this one more often I think it's very pretty so here you see the cake and this is now the decor for the portrait photos and then I will remove the little bench and the floral one and the girl can eat her cake oh <laughs> Yeah. The background for the portrait photos. I might leave the garland on instead of the circles. I think it's very cute. I'll ask the parents. So here, once again, I'm going to use the floral number one. This is the cake. So the cake is for later, which is, I mean, I want to show it off a little bit because it's such a beauty and it's going to be destroyed in a few minutes. And then here you have the portrait decor. Like it. <laughs> uh, and it was so easy to make and cheap. I think the flowers in total cost me less than 10 euros. Because uh, like four of these roses cost one euro. Um, so yeah, this cardboard for free, some tape, the green stuff. I think it was like 60 cents for one block and I used one block. Yeah, I think less than one block. Uh, of course, you can make it a lot bigger. I chose this size for now. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. I'll see you in the comments. You'll see me in my next video.